What's up, everybody? James Duggan here with IGN Access at BlizzCon 2016, brought to you by T-Mobile. I'm here with Twitch broadcaster Ammunition. She has been checking out all of the awesome Overwatch news, and I kind of want to run through with you and get your reaction, starting with, of course, Sombra. Did you get the player? I have played Sombra for four hours already, yeah. Four hours? Yep. That is significantly more than I've played. What do you think? Yeah, I, I love her. I'm worried that she might be a little unbalanced right now, but that is what the PTR server is for. They will, you know, put her in the server and see how she fits into the current balance of all the characters and then adjust from there. And so when you say unbalanced, are you talking about unbalanced on the high end? Like, you think she's overpowered? Do you think she's... I mean, she I think she's really overpowered. Abilities. Yeah, I, I think right now she might be overpowered. I think that they need to pull back on a couple things, but we'll just kind of see what they think once they put her on the PTR. Sure. So the ARG, I'm sure you're familiar with that, it kind of took a pretty long time to get to the point. Were you still excited when you saw her kind of pop up on that screen? 100% I was still excited. I thought, you know, they did the thing where the video kind of glitched out for a second, and I felt bad for the production crew because I was worried that something <laughs> was going wrong. And then it glitched again, and I was like, oh, my God, it's Sombra, and I got so excited. So. Sure. And the other big announcement, of course, is arcade mode, which is really exciting to me. I love Junkenstein's Revenge, kind of jumping in there, having a good time. Co-op, it was still very challenging, and I want to see some platform for them to facilitate new modes like co-op PvE. I think that's exactly what arcade is. So there's the 1v1 mode, the 3v3 mode, which is kind of similar to Counter-Strike. You die once it's done. Are you excited to play those? Yeah, I think they've started to do a really good job with those arcade brawls. You know, the as you mentioned, Junkenstein's Revenge, and then they had Lucio Ball, which was a huge hit, and everyone wanted it to stay in the game. So I think this will give them the platform to put those kind of things in, maybe in a more permanent fashion. Sure. All right, so now that Sombra is out in the open, I mean, Doomfist, hopefully coming at some point. But beyond that, what other kind of character archetypes from either other genres or other shooters do you want to see in Overwatch? Well, with the addition of Sombra, we've got seven offense heroes now, and I think we still have six defense heroes. Both healing and tank are a little light on five each. So I think that the next hero they need to add, because they just added Ana, who is a healer, I think they need to add a tank, which would probably be Doomfist. Sure. All right, so let's talk about Overwatch League. This is something that's really exciting to me as somebody who knows a couple pro players and sees how their lifestyle is just all over the place because one minute they're signed, the next they're not. Yeah. This is something that's really interesting. It's going to be based out of cities and states and almost a conventional sports approach. Is this something that you as a player are interested in potentially aspiring to? I feel like there's a small part of me that's very excited about it, but then there's a lot of me that just says you'll never be good enough to do that. So what's, you know, like, what's even the point of trying? Uh, but maybe, maybe I will, we'll see. Sure, all right, so if you had to pick one state or city and then have a name for that, mine specifically would be the San Francisco Tracers. What oh, would your nice. city and state be for the name of your team? Oh man, can we be like the LA Die Die Die? The LA Die Die Die, <laughs> yes. Have the Reaper as the yeah. crest with Sombra kind of peeking over like, hey, what's up? Yeah. All right, so overall, uh, BlizzCon 2016, maybe a little bit light on content here and there, but were you happy with what you saw from Overwatch and BlizzCon? I'm very happy, yeah. I think I would have been super disappointed if they decided for some reason to not release Sombra, which I, I, don't, see, I don't see a world where that could have happened. I wish that there was more stuff for Overwatch almost, um, but that's just because I'm greedy and I want more stuff right away. Sure. And thank you so much for giving us your impressions. Check her out, Ammunition, on Twitch. I'm James Duggan with IGN Access. We are BlizzCon 2016, brought to you by T-Mobile. And for all things Overwatch, keep it right here on IGN.